So, what's going on you guys? So right now I'm about to do something that I have never done before. Um, I'm going to try something a little new because um, Dark Souls, this game right here, is a really great game, but it's also known for being hard as shit. So the new thing I'm going to try out right now is um, I'm actually going to be playing with this with a buddy of mine. Who, um, you all probably seen him in past videos like GTA and um, you, um, maybe some Minecraft videos, but um, anyway, he's uh, he's going to be helping me here today and a few videos from now, uh, we are talking about it and he liked the idea, so I'm glad to include him in this video. It's going to be pretty fun, but I, I guess I could call this a walkthrough or a let's play both at, because um, it's like a... Uh, I've never done like a co-op game with somebody like this. Mostly this game is uh, best played on your own, but it makes it a lot easier and faster to get done with in areas if you have a friend with you. So that's what I'm going to do here today and I know like I, w I would have done this game on my own, but I just think it's better if I did it with a buddy, especially if it's uh, my buddy here because he uh, he knows a lot more about this game than I do. I'm not really noobish at it, it's just that I recommend having someone with me because this game can get very aggravating at times and I'm just, I feel better if I have a friend with me. So just enough chit chat, there you go, I hope you, I don't know if you'll find it helpful because there's going to be two people and people mostly play this by themselves or they're looking for a walkthrough that involves just one person. So. Yeah, there you go. I just hope you enjoy what you see. I'm going to go ahead and create my character here. He's going to be a, a warrior. Okay. So. What should I name him? How about... Metal... Oops. Metal Gear John. Yes. Because I love Metal Gear. My other, um, my personal character, oh, male, of course. Um, my personal character, he's, uh, I named him the Dark Rider, but I, I don't know why. I, uh, it slipped my mind at the time. I wanted to do a, uh, a video on this game eventually, but. Oh wait, yeah, I chose the goddess's blessing. Physique, um, just uh, average. But yeah, I wanted to um, name this guy the Dark Rider, but I already have one that's like that, and I it totally slipped my mind at the time I was gonna make a video of this, but it's like whatever, really. Store noble hair. I don't know. Um, sweat back. Yeah, sweat back. I, I think I have it on something different on my other character. Uh, hair color. Dark brown, I guess. Um, customize face. Create similar face, maturity. I don't really see the signs of aging there that much. Generate random face simu similar to general type. Oh god, I see what that did. No, no thank you. Um, not too masculine, like, right there. I guess that's just default. Um, features... Strong, 
yada yada yada. Okay, so whoops, what did I do? Hormones changed a bit. There's my character for you guys, so there's going to be an opening cutscene here. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Izanith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. So I actually made um my friend Spam Megawatt told me that I should get the uh, the master key as my gift, so I'll let you guys see the rest of the cutscene and um I'll change that real quick. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate.
Okay, so I had to make the correction of getting the master key he wanted me to get. I guess we're both getting different uh, gifts or something, but um, he also wanted me to be the bandit, which they have high strength, but a warrior also has high strength too, so I don't really see a big difference. Right, stick is. I already know the controls. Start out with a crappy, weak ass weapon at first. I think, uh. Oh, because I need another dude. I don't think I've learned how to backstab yet. Target lock. Okay, so, if you guys are curious, I'm actually going to meet Andrew in the, uh, the Undead Burg. It, it'll take a little bit, but eventually I'll get there. It might take, like, two videos just to get him in here or something. But yeah, look, this is, right now is just a tutorial. I'm just basically, this is the first video right here. there was something over here, but I think it's locked. Yeah, there's a door. Yeah, it doesn't open from that side. Okay. Get away. Yeah, it's a little obvious. Holy shit. All you can do right now is run. Seriously. Do not attempt to fight stronger enemies like that if you're not even ready. Oh yeah, I've learned my lesson about that. Get your shield. Ouch. Well first, another thing about this game, the game keeps going even- it doesn't have any pause feature either, so if you gotta take a crap or get, you gotta take a whiz or something you better like uh, stay in a safe place near a bonfire or something because man it's, um, and you better do it quick too because if you're playing online somebody can invade your ass and just kill you like that it's not fun at all so far it's never happened to me uh, I've been unfortunate enough to uh, not well I've been invaded a few times and I've died a few times but some people are just assholes too when they want to invade you. It gets on my nerves. And if some of you are new to this game, basically invading means um, someone comes to your world and they try to kill you. Someone else in online. Yes, it's a dick move, I know. And this guy's taking forever to kill. I think the thing said something about strong attacks or something. Oh, give me a second. I think I got, yeah, I got a better sword. That's why I'm not doing any damage. My bad. There we go. Alright, traverse this white light. And now I am on higher ground. Back step and roll, I already know. And you better be careful too, you gotta take this uh, game slow sometimes because there's also some places that are rigged with traps and whatnot. Like up there, I learned my lesson, there's a trap up there, you'll see right now. Give me a second here.
see that little black thing up there. Damn, right the wall. And I think there's like a skeleton up here or something. It's not dead. Oh, it's locked. The key's down here. So dehydrated right now. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, right. I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Okay, so he just gave us the Estus flask, which you will need. Oh shit, what happened? Oh, he just... Oh, and I got his souls, too. Okay, I think I missed out on that um, in my personal playthrough. Because I thought he was just going to, like, suffer or something right there. Oh, I guess we took the easy way out. Alright, now... Oh, yeah, there's a, a contraption on the other side that's locking the door. Okay, if I can remember correctly, you're supposed to go back in here and use the key on the locked door. There's a locked door back here somewhere. Um, I can't remember where. Uh, hello to you too. Okay. Oh yeah, and every time you use the uh, the bonfire, the enemies respawn. So in case you have to farm souls to shop or uh, or do whatever, you know, get those souls to level up and shop, then trust me, it helps out a lot. And you're gonna need to be doing that often too. Well, in special occasions, anyways. Okay. So there's no really um. A locked door over here. It's somewhere over here, though. Just took the wrong direction. It's, uh... Oh, duh. It's at the top of the stairs. What am I thinking? Yeah, sometimes I can be forgetful, excuse me. And hello to you too once again. Kick and jump ahead. Oh, jump attack. I completely forgot about that. Let me give it a try. That's kicking. Oh, and that's how you jump attack. You gotta do it when you're really close to them if you want to jump attack. Okay. Wall falling, plunging attack. And that that actually does a surprisingly amount a good amount of damage. And this is the backstab that everyone's been trying to do. There you go. 
That does a lot of damage too. Locked. Okay, so you know what that means. I think we have to kill something to get a key. Reboot. Parry. Repel an enemy attack. Oh yeah. After parrying. Oh, okay. I guess you guys know what's gonna happen now. Alright, plunging attack. Try to roll under its legs. Yikes, about to die. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate just by me trying to screw up so much in a boss fight, but you know what, I just, I'm trying to do the best I can, okay? No offense to anybody, but just a forewarning to people who just want to criticize me right now, then like, whatever, really. Okay, I got the key that I need. A humanity. Trust me, you want to save those up. Good job. Go straight ahead. Well, that's going to do it for the Northern Undead Asylum. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did playing it. Only in the ancient legends it is stated... One day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. To the land of the ancient lords. Lordran.